Last month, I've talked about a business model that allowed this 33-year-old mom to make $40,000 per month in passive income with just two hours of work per day. Today, I'm starting the same Google to purchase or blogging business myself with the help of WordPress to see if I can make a similar income over the next six months. I'm gonna show you how I plan out all my content with shortcuts and hacks and a powerful AI tool that allows me to generate engaging and monetizable blog posts in just 10 minutes every single day. For content, context, this business model is used by review sites like CNET, Wirecutter, and TechRadar to make thousands of dollars per month through affiliate links and ads. For example, if you search for the best headphones in 2023 and open this article from CNET, you'll find a link next to each headphones that directs you to either an Amazon or a Best Buy link. Each time someone makes a purchase through those links, CNET make a commission from that sale. And considering that this one article has over 120 million clicks, you can rest assured that it's a massive cash cow for CNET. On top of that, they also make money through AdSense by linking Google ads inside each of their articles, although that's a smaller portion of their income due to many people using Adblock in their browsers. But okay, so how can we as small creators compete in this market with these giant publications and outrank them in Google search to take a portion out of this pie? Well, it all really comes down to three elements. The first one is the niche, which is the content you want to cover. Now, personally, I'm a wedding photographer, so I'm gonna start a blog on camera equipment and accessories. However, anyone can start in any niche, whether it's kitchen appliances or outdoor gear or beauty products. The second element is long tail keyword targeting. Instead of focusing on best camera equipment or best lenses, which are already covered by the big publications, I'm gonna target longer keywords such as best camera bodies for wedding photographers or best zoom lenses for recording ceremonies. And the final element is automation. By leveraging a powerful plugin within WordPress will be able to effortlessly come up with content every single day. So without further ado, let's start this business. So to start off, after brainstorming a couple of potential names for my blog using ChatGPT, I decided to go with Shutterscope. Next, I'm gonna need a website and a domain, and the very best place to get both in one go for cheap is Hostinger, which happens to be the sponsor of this video. For just $2.99 per month, you receive premium website hosting and a free domain, but the main reason why I choose Hostinger specifically for my blog is because I get a free one-click WordPress installation. If you don't know already, WordPress has been been the number one website builder for many years and is the go-to solution for anyone wanting to start a blog. And you'll see in a few minutes that Hostinger have a special feature that makes blogging so much faster and easier. Plus, by using my link in the description or the pinned comment, you receive two months of web hosting for free. And if you ever change your mind about it, you always have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is essentially zero risk. So to get started, we're gonna click on Claim Deal and I'm going to select the business plan. And you may be wondering, well, well, Mark, but the premium plan is $2 cheaper. And while that's correct, the business plan is the one that gives me access to the WordPress AI Assistant plugin, which is the special feature that I mentioned earlier. This plugin will basically generate entire blog posts based on a prompt or content idea, which will make blogging less time consuming. To continue, just select the period, enter an email address and payment details. And if you add my code Mark on business into this box before checking out, you'll receive an additional 10% discount on your selected plan. After you sign up and log in, all you need to do is click on setup to start the website building process. We can either fill out or skip all these prompts and click on create a new website. Here, we're gonna select WordPress with the AI and enter our login details. We're gonna leave all these default plugins in for now and we're gonna select a theme later, so we'll just hit skip. Next, we'll enter our brand name and a brief description for the AI to get a good idea of what our website is about. Then we'll get to claim our free domain. So for my blog, I'm gonna go with shutterscope.net, but if your domain name isn't available, just keep trying until you find one that isn't taken. And Hostinger will just basically work in the background to make all the connections. And once that's done, you're gonna click on edit site and you'll be taken to the back end of your WordPress website where the real magic begins. So once we're inside WordPress, the very first thing we wanna do is go to appearance, themes, and add new. Now, there are tons of website themes available within WordPress, but we wanna go for editor 
tutorial and news type of websites. So I'm just gonna search for news right here. And some of these look a lot like the professional review outlets like CNET or TechRadar, which is perfect because we wanna look as professional as we can. So I'm just gonna go for this one right here and hit install and then activate. Then we're gonna go to get started with this theme and right away, we would need to install and activate the demo content along with the recommended plugins under the useful plugins tab. Then we can go to the plugin section and we'll see all the plugins that are currently applied to our website. And as you can see, we have the Hostinger AI Assistant in here, which is the most important part. Okay, so now if we go up top here and click on visit site, you'll see that because we already gave the AI a brief description of what our website is about, it went ahead and generated a couple of blog posts on camera gear. Now, these posts do need a bit of touch up. For example, we need to add images and the actual affiliate links, which we'll get to in a few minutes. But first, if you'd wanna customize your blog, you can go to customize up top here, and wherever you see a pencil icon, you can customize that particular widget. So let's say I don't want the date and time to be displayed up top here, I can just take that out easily. And this is applicable to any element you see on your website. So assuming that we have our website ready and looking the way we want, now it's time to get to the important part which is content generation. Back in your WordPress dashboard, you can start writing a blog post by going to posts and selecting add new with AI. And this is where it gets really interesting. So within the Hostinger AI assistant, we can ask the AI to generate a blog post based on tone of voice, content length, and the actual idea that we have. So tone of voice can be casual, neutral, or formal, and the content length can be either short or long. And you can see that it recommends long content to generate more leads because it's just better from an SEO perspective, which is exactly what we want. So for my first blog post, I'm gonna write an article about the top five best cameras for wedding photographers in 2023. And all I'm gonna do is hit generate content and within a couple of minutes, I have a blog post ready to publish just like that. Now, if I wanna publish that as is, I can hit the publish button, but we need to add some images and the actual affiliate links to each of these cameras. So I'm gonna edit the blog post. Inside the post editor, the first thing you wanna do is click on convert to blocks. This action will allow you to insert a couple of elements in between the text. So if I want to add some images, I'm going to click on the plus icon right here and select images. And I can either upload images from my computer or insert the URL to the image itself. So for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and inserted all my images for each camera where I want them to be. Now to add the affiliate links, we're going to go to the plus icon again and click on buttons. Inside the button, I'm just going to add the text buy on Amazon. To get the Amazon affiliate links, I'm just gonna head on over to Amazon Associates Central and sign up with an email address. Once you do that, this will be your main dashboard. And before we get the links, what we wanna do is go to Tools and select one link. So when you set up a default Amazon Associates account, you only make a commission when someone from the US buys a product using your link. But this step will allow us to monetize purchases from all the other available countries as well. And to do that, we're gonna click on Get Started, Add Countries, select all then next and just click submit and you're done. Now I'm gonna search for each camera on amazon.com and using the banner on the top right here, I'm just going to copy this text and insert into the button in my blog post. And I just repeat the same process for all the other cameras as well. And once you're done, you can check your SEO content scores on the top right corner here. The first one ranks your headline and the score of around 70 will be good enough. While the second one is the overall SEO score for the entire post. And here, anything between a 70 and a 100 is considered to be very good. So all in all, the AI generated blog post is a very good start. To publish the blog post, I'm gonna hit publish on top here. And this is our first blog post live on our website. So all in all with the AI assistant, it took me maybe around 10 minutes to generate, edit and publish a blog post with good SEO and affiliate links. So it really can't get any easier than this. Like I said in the beginning, I will start with one blog post per day for the next six months and drop an update as we go along and hopefully start making some money. So a couple of bonus tips, you can use ChatGPT to brainstorm long tail keywords for your niche. And if you wanna test out the search volume on Google for each keyword, you can use a free Google Chrome extension called Keyword Surfer. Another tip would be to mix up your content. So instead of just publishing listed review articles, 
every once in a while you can dedicate a blog post to a single product. For example, within my niche, I've seen very few big publications cover less popular mainstream products, such as audio gear for weddings or manual lenses or vintage lenses. You never know what type of audience you can hit, so it's worth to create a healthy mix of different types of content. All right, that's been it for this video. Please leave a like if you found it useful and subscribe if you wanna see an update to this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.